All right, we're in the skiff. Almost done, haven't quite finished here. I got the forward seat and the mass partner and step all finished. And um, just have the lines led temporarily along the uh, seat riser and just tied off, which uh, that may change or may, I like how it's not nice and simple, no hardware, so I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna do it. It's only a real light wind, I would say about three miles an hour, but it's enough that we're moving and making way. And then I'll be doing a more thorough, uh, you know, description and another video on the, go into more detail about the boat. Uh, it's about 13 and a half feet long. A friend of mine had a skiff that I liked a lot that was, but it was a little bigger and wider and uh, where I live, if it's under 14 feet, you don't have to register it as long as there's no motor. So made it about 13 and a half, a little bit narrower and um, fairly, oh, well, I don't know if you would say heavy construction, but it's three eighths um, on the sides. The bottom is three eighths, but then it's got stringers across and Three quarter inch boards on the bottom um, and it's fiberglass on the bottom wrapping around up to the on the garboards up to the second streak um, and then it's all traditional framing um, all bronze fastenings in a single lug rig which I've been using on uh, several boats so I really like it because it's just so simple to set up I don't know what the mass weighs but I would say maybe eight pounds it's a bird's mouth hollow made out of Douglas fir um, one neat thing about this boat is that since it's flat bottom and it's so stable um, it's super easy to put the mast up you know when you're already underway like today, I just rode away from the ramp and then uh, stepped the mast while I was in the boat. Um, only thing I have left, I want to make a a little kind of box uh, seat for rowing position. It'll also be able to be rowed from that forward seat uh, if I have passengers with me. But the inside, it has... I have to measure it, but I think it's around seven feet of floor space. Um, so you can easily camp cruise on it or have several people. Um, it's got a lee board instead of a center board. Just hangs over the side. And uh, that way you don't have any center board or anything messing up the interior. Um, and I won't pretend to say that a, a flat bottom boat with a lee board and um, the rudder doesn't have any, um, it's not like a retractable rudder or anything, so it's fairly shallow. So, you know, it's not gonna be a racing boat, but what I wanted was something super comfortable and easy to set up. And I've been sailing the beach pee, which I love, but uh, my daughter's getting to be pretty much adult size and it's just getting really small to have both of us in there. Um, this one's gonna be a lot more comfortable. But just have to uh, finish up the rear seat. You can see here's the rudder. So just a few more details. But I'm real happy and you can see I did one previous video the first time I just had a temporary mass support but it was blowing about 10 or 12 miles an hour and it actually would steer itself uh, which I really didn't expect I was surprised it was able to do that on this type of boat but, 
I'll stop talking and, and just enjoy the scenery.